what up y'all welcome to the video uh so listen i just made my way home from watching the fight terrence crawford stopped earl spence what was then like the ninth round and uh i made a couple of videos so far but man i gotta i gotta talk some more because i ain't really i ain't gonna lie if earl spence would have won I was, I was going to be lying because I, I was going to be happy as hell. But right now, I ain't in the mood. But I still want to do videos because I got to get what I want to get off of my chest before I go to bed. I just got home. I'm going to go to bed now. It took me a minute to leave where I was left because I was just so hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. <laughs> you hear me? I was just so hurt. I just, like, I sat there for at least, like, 45 minutes. I'm like, man. But then, finally got up. Like, man, let me go home. Because I want to go to sleep. Yeah, I know I'm hurt. I'm hurt, man. I'm hurt, man. But I got to get some more things off my chest, though. So, listen. This is my question, man. Because not only am I hurt, sad and all that, I'm more mad than, 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 it's like I got a bunch of emotions at the same time, but I'm more mad than anything. Let me tell you why I'm mad. Listen to me. Hear me out. Listen. I'm mad because don't matter what Terrence Crawford fans say to us, the opposition, and, and by the way, they rematch at 154, I'm going to pick Earl. But at the same time, I still want to get this out the way because that's how I'm feeling at this moment. You know, Earl, I love Earl. Favorite fighter. I don't, I don't, they ain't going to crush me. So I'm still going to say what I want to say. So listen. Because I know people going to say, man, excuses, 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 everything like that. But it's not an excuse if it's the truth. So, I'm mad at whoever let Earl Spence in there knowing, not saying they knew it was going to turn out exactly like that, but they knew he was, like, super, super, like, I need to know the details, man, because I, I just I, I need to know more details. I need to know I need to know how long was he feeling like he felt? Because you can't tell me that that was Earl Spence. You can't tell me, bro. You cannot tell me that was the best Earl Spence. I never seen Earl Spence like that. Never. I never even seen him react to a punch like that. Like, I never seen him react. Every time Earl got hit, boom, with a, with a jab, his head was like, phew. And the jab went even hard. When he first got knocked down, that wasn't even hard. That wasn't a hard knockdown. His legs went not I seen it, bro. You can't trick me, bro. That's why I'm mad, because I feel like niggas trying to play mind games. And they trying to tell me Hey man, that was that was the best Earl. That was Earl. That was just Bud. He was Bud was a god. <laughs> hey, like Bud was so good. And, yeah, nah, bro. You can't you, fuck you, nigga. You not finna tell me that and trick me, nigga. I've been watching Earl since nigga since motherfucking amateurs. I know how he fight. Do you understand me? I know how he fight, bro. That wasn't Earl in that ring, bro. That was somebody else. And ain't no way Earl Smith was dogging guys and spawn like that. Leading up to this moment. That had to be happening in spawn. That's why I'm telling you right now. Whatever just happened with Bud. I mean, because you know why I said it? Amnesia, anesthesia, did a better job than what Earl did. It, he ain't look like that. 
other top fighters in the division could have beat Earl tonight. That's why I'm telling you right now. That's why I'm telling you it, it, he he wasn't there, bro. It was something wrong with him. And somebody let him in the ring. I would have rather not seen the fight at all for Earl to get in the ring and perform like that. I would have never even want to see the fight at all, bro. Period. If oh, if you had to pull out, do depending on whatever happened or whatever, if you had to pull out there, I would have been more acceptance to that than than that. Well, I just because we because this would just happen. Earl lost in a fashion to the point where it made Bud look like he looked. I'm gonna say that it made Bud look like that. When knowing damn well, he wouldn't have looked like that if that was really the Earl Spence. You feel me? So the fact that Earl got dropped, what, like three times, bro? He was never there, bro. And his face swole up so fast. He was limping. His, man, why, why, man? Why was that a good decision? So let me get this right. Because Bud just finessed every fucking body. And, and I, I feel finessed too. You feel me? Because niggas let Earl in the ring when he was like that. I feel like I got right out at this point. Because, bro, when he, ain't, when he when he ain't right. You can't tell me, oh, man, he was the better. Nigga, fuck that. I can accept if you was how you were supposed to be and then... He just ended up winning, and it was a, uh, that wasn't even a good fight. That, that wasn't even, that wasn't, what the fuck was that? So, I feel like I was robbed, but I feel like a nigga stole something from me. I feel like I was finesse. Because, see, and it's not me turning on Earl Smith, nigga, I told you, I'm, I'm still, nigga, Earl, my nigga. Still fuck with Earl. Favorite fighter and everything, but Earl said he was going to break Terrence Crawford. And that ain't just talking shit. Oh, like, he knew he couldn't break him with how he was feeling. However you was feeling, whatever was wrong with Earl, couldn't break nothing. He was broken when he got in the ring. And they're going to say, oh, man, oh, man, you, won't, you just can't give for credit. Man, fuck you, nigga. Call it what you want. I don't care what you call it. You, hear? you can say that or you can spit it however you want to spit it. I'm still going to say what I'm going to say. Earl wasn't breaking. He wasn't even breaking spawn partners with that. Earl couldn't move laterally. He couldn't move. He, his jab, he couldn't even throw a jab right. So, I feel like I was robbed because that shit was borderline rigged. That shit was like, I mean, some people been telling me, like my uncle been saying how it was rigged. They just want to do a second fight at 154. But then, this is what I say. I say, you know why I won't all the way say it's rigged? Because who the fuck finna rig? And take that amount of punishment just to have another fight at 154 when that when that punishment could have hurt you it to a point where it can't be no rematch. Let's say Earl I messed up because his face looked real swollen up from little bit of punches. His face was already swelling up. So if yo, if you take an injury that can stop you from the rematch. It, it would be stupid to be like, oh, man, I ain't going to fight this fight. I'm going to let them beat the hell out of me and so we can have a fight at 154. No, nah, that don't make sense to me because that, that don't make no sense, bro. Think about what I just said. Let that sizzle in your spirit. Think about what I just said. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to rig it. I'm going to let him beat the hell out of me so we can fight at 154 and get another bag. That can't be the case because... He took too much punishment, and that could have stopped a rematch from even happening. If anything, you feel me, you're going to go hard, then boom, we can fight at 154 or whatever. But 
it'll look funny to me, man. I got robbed, man. Ain't no way to talk about it, bro. That's the only way to say it. I got robbed. We all, all of us got robbed. Ain't buying no another fight. Ain't no fights getting bought. Nobody. Because this shit like wrestling. Ain't no motherfucking fights being bought. None of that shit, bro. Because I don't know who in, in shape or who really at the point where they really 100%. I don't know what percentage you at get before you get in the ring, but you might pump it up like you actually at a higher percentage than you actually are because me looking at Earl leading up, I'm thinking he was the best he ever been, but in reality, he was the worst he ever been. Like, he was actually worse than he ever been, worse than shape. I don't know what happened. I don't know. So he... He was in the worst shape he ever been. Like, he, like, I ain't talking about, like, like, it was something, like, internally, like, someone, someone wrong with, bro. And Terrence Crawford won't say it because they just want, Terrence Crawford fans won't say it because they just want the one up, but it's the truth, bro. It's, he was right. <laughs> the fuck? It was more than just, oh, man, Bud had the better skills and all that. Nah, bro. Earl Smith didn't even show no skills. Do you hear what I'm saying? He ain't show no skills. I ain't seen shit from her. He, he was hurt. He was already not right. His legs were never under him. He didn't look right. First bell. He ain't look right. He went down from that soft ass punch that went even hard. They made it seem like Earl was a hundred percent when he 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 wasn't he wasn't he wasn't, bro. Something was going on in sparring, but niggas wanted to keep going because the fight was too big and the moment was too big. You feel me? So they went they didn't wanna Earl got too much heart to be like, oh man, fuck, let's pull out. He like, no, nah, let's keep going with it. But me, I ain't like that decision. Cause like I said, I wouldn't rather not seeing it at all than for you. To come out like that and then be like, man, I ain't got no excuses. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, but that's not an excuse, bro. You wasn't right, bro. I can accept someone's wrong with you. Fuck them niggas, man. We don't give a fuck about them niggas, bro. Fuck them, bro. We don't give a fuck what they was going to say. But you wasn't 100%. You were, you, you was hurt real bad from something. Something happened. Uh, I'm not sure what it was, but Earl... I would like, as a fan, one of the biggest fans of yours, you see this video. I would like for you to say what was wrong with you, bro. That would make me feel better. And I'm sure a lot of other people I would like for you to say exactly what was wrong with you. You ain't even got to say the whole story. You can at least sum it up a little bit. But just say what was wrong with you, bro. Please, bro. Say what was wrong with you, bro. It's not an excuse. Excuse is you, 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 you didn't even have a moment in a fight. You didn't have a moment. Not one moment. Even the people who were picking Crawford said it was gonna be 50-50, but Bud was gonna win. Like it wasn't 50-50. That shit was like fucking 99 one. I don't like that the fact. Somebody let Earl Smith get in there as if he was 100% and let Terrence Crawford do what he did to Earl and now it made it look like what it was, what it was. I would never, never not even want to see shit at all, bro. I'm just keeping it in a thousand with y'all last, man. I'm going to keep you out. Honey, it's my last video for the night, so I, I got to spill the beans before I talk about this shit again. I ain't going nowhere like I said I would, nigga. Told you I was going to come back no matter what. Facts. So, yeah, man, but I feel like I was robbed, man. That shit, bro. shit feel like I was robbed. Like a nigga robbed me a little bit. Like, shit was like a nigga just put a fucking blick to my head. Like, a nigga just put a gun in my head, bro. And said, nigga, give me $84.99 and give me goddamn. And give me. 
Give me everything your ass got, nigga, and give me your motherfucking betting money, too, nigga. You feel me? I don't like how a nigga made it seem like oh, Bud was so good and Earl just went on his level. Man, fuck no, nah, bro. See, that's why I'm mad at that part. Like, at first, they were supposed to be on the same level, but then all of a sudden, the fight over with Earl down hurting Bud up here. Why you let him get that get that look off you like that, like that, bro? Nigga just robbed us, bro. I was just robbed. Nigga, y'all niggas was robbed too. Everybody was robbed. Terrence Crawford fans wasn't. They feel good because they man came out on top. They had never admit. Hey man, bull kicked his ass, but shit, Earl, he ain't look right. Hey, 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 I never seen no shit like that. I feel like I could admit if Earl would have watched Bud and I would have seen Bud, I'm like, damn, Bud look a little scared of Timmy. He couldn't throw no punches for real. Nigga, Earl Spence ain't throw no fucking punches. And his punches ain't hurt. And niggas just want to tell me he was drained. He was more than just drained, too. He might have been drained for sure. Couldn't make one. See, see, let me say this again. So let me get this right. I'm going to make a whole nother video because this video is a little long. So it probably get lost or people might not watch the whole thing or whatever. But I'm going to say this. So let me get this right. Terrence Crawford just finesse the whole goddamn PBC and, and all the Earl Spence fans. He just, and he finessed Earl, to, in my opinion, because... He 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 got a tune up. He kept you out the ring, made you miss a check. And he took your belts. And he made it look like how he made it look. Nigga, he, he just fin he just finessed the whole shit. He he finessed the whole Spence side. Knowing fucking well he went better than Earl. I don't give a fuck. No nigga say nigga. He, to me, he beat the hell out of Earl because Earl let his ass. Nigga, I don't give a fuck how it sound, nigga. I don't care. Real Earl Smith fans who been watching him like I've been watching him know exactly what I'm talking about. They know exactly what I mean when I say that Earl let him beat his ass and it looked like a fucking money grab because niggas knew Earl wasn't at that point to get in the fucking ring. It almost like remind me of the Sean Porter shit. Sean Porter didn't fucking train. So he got in the ring and he got his ass whooped. Earl, something was wrong with him, but he still got in the ring on some stubborn shit or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know what it was. But Earl's still my favorite fight, and I still support Earl soon when he come back. So when we fight Bud again, I'm still rooting the same side. Still on that same bullshit. But Earl let Bud win, and I'm, and I'm mad, bro. I'm mad because niggas let him get in the ring, and Earl let himself, because he a grown-ass man. Anybody can't let you do shit. He let himself get in the ring, knowing damn well he can perform. Not even, not even close to what he can perform at. Nigga, that shit pissed me off to the core, nigga. For real. And I never switch up, but I'm just keeping it on it on how I feel about what happened. How I feel about what happened. I feel like nigga just let nigga just. Get that nigga, let, let, let him get a one up and made you look like that. Knowing damn well he would have never made you look like that. You know he wouldn't, you know he would never let you. You know you would never perform like that if you was really 100. You couldn't have been 100. You couldn't have been beating niggas ass in sparring. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, not with that. Any regular degular ass sparring partner would have came in and been whooping Earl Smith's ass. That mean niggas been lying about something. 
What the fuck was nigga lying about? Nigga lied to this nigga. He was getting the best spawn. It couldn't have been getting the best spawn because niggas would have been whooping them and they... And nah, bro. Ain't no way, bro. That shit, that shit. I can understand if it was an accident. Blood fans, tune, tune your fucking ears out for this if you feel like a nigga uh, not giving blood credit. Tune your ears out, nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. But I'm going to finish saying what I was saying. Earl, ain't no way he was whooping spawn partners. Ain't no way he was. So I'm just saying, man, but... Yeah, bro. I'm a motherfucker. I had to make this video, get some little stuff out my chest. If it's some more things to be talked about tomorrow, and I'm definitely gonna still rap about this shit, but I ain't going nowhere for sure. But I'm just saying that nigga super disappointed. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I feel like I arrived and I was let down. But at the same time, Earl do this Boston shit, put his fan, he put his livelihood. On, on the line, and he possibly could be suffering some from that accident, or or anything else that happened after that, in between the Ugas fight and in this fight, whatever happened, Earl knew he wanted to go out on the shield, which is some warrior ass shit. He, he went out against it on his shield against the other best guy, who is now the best fighter in the world, Terrence Crawford. He, he went out against the best guy, and his decision was to, he knew he wasn't the same. He knew he wanted to go out. If he knew, if he, he, he must have said to himself, I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out by the best nigga. And that's some real warrior type of mindset. And me as a fan, I can't think on that level because I'm not the one in the ring. But at the same time, I still can voice my frustrations as, as a fan that I feel how I feel. But at the same time, I can't see where Earl Smith's coming from because he a warrior. He he needed to make all that money for this boxing shit because, nigga, this, he put his heart on the line. Some things happened, and he was he was messed up in some kind of way, but he still needed to get what he needed to get. And I understand that. But I still wanted to say what I wanted to say, though. That's how I feel. That's my, it's basically like my letter to Earl Smith. I hope Earl watched this himself. And if anybody want to hit me up, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You already know I'm 100. If you kept watching, if you've been watching my video, you already know what kind of dude I am. You should be able to feel the energy through the screen. You should already know. So you already know it's all right to hit me up behind the scenes and let me know. You feel me? You already know what it is. Just so you can keep it a thousand. It's between me and you. But I'm just saying, like, this shit, shit, that shit felt bad. Like, and I know that wasn't the best Earl Spence, bro. You feel me? So, I'm just saying, I hated to let Bud get that one up. But it's okay now because you fall, you get back up all the time. And a lot of other boxers that took losses in their careers and came back from knockouts and still did their thing. But... I think it would be okay. It ain't, but if Earl don't want to say, oh, man, because he don't want to take nothing for Crawford, I understand that, too. I feel you. Because we we definitely get on Crawford here, but he definitely he definitely is shit, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't make it seem like he ain't fucking shit. You feel me? He definitely is shit, for sure. But at the same time, man, uh, you know, you can't say Bud was old, but Bud older than Earl. You can't say Earl was old because Bud older than Earl, but Earl been through more troubles. So that's what I'm saying. Like, he he wasn't right. But I didn't like how the fat motherfuckers let him in the ring when, uh, let him in the ring when he won 100, bro. I ain't like it, bro. Feel like I was robbed and let down. You feel me? But y'all already know, man. I'm gonna smoke this cone. Get the motherfucking bed, cause I'm tired as hell. Holla at y'all last uh, uh, tomorrow.
See, I ain't watching no more interviews. I ain't watching no more interviews. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't watch no bullshit because they all going to say the same thing. Man, blood is so great. And I understand it. I understand, man. I understand. He hella good, man. He are. He number one. He number one in the world. But that wasn't real. And that's my video. Y'all hit that like button. I'm out.